Yo, what's good everyone? Happy Friday. Hope y'all have had a great week so far. Today I'm going to be breaking down the NHL DFS slate for November 11th. And we got ourselves just a four game slate here tonight where I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite line stacks, some of my favorite individual plays, some of my favorite value plays, and then wrap up the video talking a little prize picks. With that being said, let's dive into my spreadsheet here. And we're going to kick things off here like we always do in the top left hand corner with those highest implied game totals. We got two of these games coming in with an implied total of six and a half. The other two games there at six goals even. And then I got the Vegas odds listed behind me there where you can see the stars, Maple Leafs, Lightning, and Wild are all favored to win here tonight. With that being said, let's dive into a couple of line stacks that I like here for tonight. Starting with that first line for the Dallas Stars. We got Hint centering Robertson and Pavelski. Just like last year, these guys are dominating at home to start this season. They've combined for 10 goals, 13 assists, 23 points in five games, damn near averaging five points per game as a line. Now, all three of these guys play big minutes together, five on five, and all play up on that number one power play. And a great match appeared tonight against the San Jose Sharks, who are not only playing on back to back nights after losing in St. Louis last night, this is a team that has allowed 4.20 goals per game in their past five so they're not a very good defensive team and don't have the best goaltending plus on top of that this Dallas Stars power play has been very good here over their past five games scoring at a 37 and a half percent rate so I like going back to this Stars line really anytime they play at home and then another line stack I like here tonight is that second line for the Toronto Maple Leafs we got Tavares centering Jason Robertson's younger brother Nick Robertson and William Nylander and really this is kind of a pivot off of Austin Matthews. If you want to play Austin Matthews tonight, I have absolutely no problem with that. The best goal scorer on this slate and maybe in the NHL at this point, no disrespect to Ovechkin, but I kind of like pivoting off of that because he's also projecting to be the most popular player on this slate. And Tavares and Nylander have been good together this year. I know they kind of tried to shuffle their lines a handful of games ago, putting William Nylander on the third line. That really didn't work out. Now they're back together here. Tavares had a hat trick a handful of games ago and you're getting exposure to both of those guys on the number one power play which is scored at a 31% rate here in their past five games. Hell being that it is just a four game slate I don't mind even stacking up that number one power play for Toronto in general as that penalty kill for the Penguins has struggled this year just hitting at a 75% rate and then Robertson there is cheap easy to justify at $3,700 and he gets time on the number two power play. Now before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here everyone if you could take 10 seconds to like this video and subscribe to the channel I would greatly appreciate that it really helps me out and I got hockey content coming out for you guys all year long all right, now diving into these individual plays here, we're going to kick it off with the forwards. First guy I got there is Jake Gensel of the Pittsburgh Penguins. And for those of you who have been watching these videos for a while, you guys all know I'll have exposure to that first line out of Pittsburgh tonight. Crosby centering Rust and Gensel. They have tremendous chemistry together, play big minutes together five on five, and all play up on the number one power play. And for what it's worth, the Maple Leafs goaltending issues right now, not very good. So I don't mind Pittsburgh as a whole, but Gensel's kind of the guy for me. He's got seven goals, five assists, 12 points through nine games, averaging over three and a half shots on net per game. In fact, he has a goal in seven of nine games. So he's the natural goal scorer on that line and should have plenty of opportunity to get on the score sheet here again tonight. Now, I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw Mitch Marner was priced at $5,500, a guy who's riding a seven game point streak right now and has 16 points through 14 games. Yes, I understand his biggest DraftKings performance so far this year was 18 DraftKings points just last game ago, but we all know that his ceiling is significantly higher than that. This is a guy that can go for 30 plus DraftKings points, especially playing with Austin Matthews. So at $5,500 here, I wouldn't be afraid to mix him in with Tavares and Nylander, hoping that that number one power play gets a handful of chances here tonight against a penalty kill that has struggled for the Penguins. I then got Evgeny Kuznetsov there of the Washington Capitals, and there's really not a lot to love about this Capitals team right now. Just no scoring depth whatsoever, and they're really banged up right now, don't get me wrong. 
But the one line that continues to kind of shine is that first line with Kuznetsov and Ovechkin. They're really the only offensive firepower that they have on a consistent basis. Kuzi had five shots on that last game against the Penguins, getting you that three-point DraftKings bonus. The game before that showed his ceiling where he had two goals to assist and 37 DraftKings points. And you're kind of hoping that the Capitals can get on the power play a handful of times here tonight as well as this penalty kill for the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're sitting at a 73.7% .7 rate in their past five games. That is the 11th worst in the NHL. And the Capitals haven't been bad on their power play here as of late, scoring at a 28% rate. So again, you're hoping the Capitals can get on the power play a handful of times here tonight. And $5,000 is a reasonable price considering the upside Kuznetsov has. Again, he showed that off just two games ago. Plays on that first line, obviously plays on the number one power play, and should log around 19, 20 plus minutes here tonight. You know, I'm not in love with this Capitals team by any means. Like I said, a lack of scoring depth right now, but that first line can definitely generate offense. Now, a really nice opportunity play that I like here tonight is Brandon Hagel of the Tampa Bay Lightning, currently playing on that first line with Kucherov and Point and getting time on the number one power play. In fact, ever since he's been bumped up to that first line over Steven Stamkos to kind of spread out the scoring depth, he's been great. In his last 10 games, he's got five goals, six assists, 11 points. He only averages around two shots on net per game, so I'd like to see that volume go up just a little bit, but when you're playing with Kucherov, it makes sense. He's taken a lot of shots himself, and he's averaging 12 DraftKings points per game here over his past 10. He's got tremendous upside considering the price and the guys he's playing with right now. And then I got Oliver Bjorkstrand there of the Seattle Kraken, and honestly, I don't mind the Kraken as a whole here tonight at home against the Minnesota Wild, but one guy I believe that regression is coming towards is Oliver Bjorkstrand. He's only got one goal through 14 games right now, but he leads this team in shot attempts and shots on goal and is third on the team with 3.9 expected goals. Now he has seven assists as well, so he's definitely still getting on the score sheet, playing on that first line in number one power play while logging around 16 minutes per night. So the opportunity has definitely been there. He just hasn't cashed in on his chances, but like I said, I do believe that some regression is coming his way and they should get on the power play a handful of times here tonight, the Seattle Kraken, as the Minnesota Wild are fifth in the NHL with 60 minor penalties through 13 games. Now, moving over here to the defensemen, and there are very few top-tier defensemen on this slate, but I have no problem spending up for those guys, Eric Carlson, Victor Hedman, Chris Letang, or Miro Heiskanen, but for the most part, it looks like I'll be spending below $5,000 tonight at this position. I wanted to highlight Miro here. Haven't really talked about the Dallas Stars as a whole much this year, and Miro is a guy who plays in all situations and logs big minutes. He's averaging around 23 minutes per game right now, plays on that number one power play and plays on the penalty kill. He's got eight points through 10 games. I would like him to shoot the puck a little bit more, only averages around two shots on net per game, but he's not afraid to block shots either. So again, he's a very well-rounded defenseman that can rack up DraftKings points in a number of ways. And again, just like I talked about earlier with that first line from Dallas, I do like the matchup at home tonight against the Sharks. I then got Morgan Riley there of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Basically, this comes down to stacking up that number one power play for Toronto tonight. You could do a little stack with Tavares, Nylander, and Riley, or just stack up the number one power play as a whole by adding Marner and Matthews too, because again, that penalty kill for Pittsburgh this year has struggled. Riley's got 10 points through 14 games here, with four of those points coming on the power play, albeit a smaller sample size. That's a 40% rate, and I don't mind that number at all. And that's really the play here with Vince Dunn of the Seattle Kraken as well, stacking him up with forwards on that number one power play because Minnesota not afraid to take penalties. You're hoping that Seattle can get on the power play a handful of times here tonight, stack him up with guys like Bjorkstrand, Burkowski, Wenberg, or even just roll out that first line who all play on the number one power play with Vince Dunn because that power play has actually been sneakily good for the Kraken this year, scoring at a 25.5% rate. That's the eighth best in the NHL. Now, Dunn here has eight points through 14 games with three of those points coming on the PP. And then we'll wrap it up there with Eric Gustafson. Now, John Carlson is skating again this morning. I have no idea if he's going to play or not, but obviously if he does play, then Gustafson will be bumped off the number one power play for the Capitals. I think he's still a viable play here at this price, considering he has been logging around 20 plus minutes per night, and he's got that offensive upside that we're looking for on DraftKings. 
Not a very good defender, but we don't care about that when it comes to our lineups. So keep an eye on John Carlson tonight. If he is in, I do bump Gustafson down, but if he's out, Gustafson's going to play big minutes again and on that number one power play where we can stack him with guys like Kuznetsov and Ovechkin. And then I got a couple of goaltenders there for you. First being Andre Vasilevsky of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, if you go look at Vasi's numbers, he hasn't been great this year. He's still shown some nice upside at times, and look, he's still one of the best goaltenders in the NHL, but just hasn't been super consistent. But I do like the matchup here against the Washington Capitals. Yeah, I talked about it earlier when I was going through Kuznetsov. I don't mind that first line at all, but outside of that, they just don't have any scoring depth right now. Really banged up on the offensive side of things, missing guys like TJ Oshie, Nicholas Backstrom still, and they've only scored 2.20 goals per game here over their past five. That's the fifth fewest in the NHL. So that's primarily why I like Vasilevsky here, with the understanding that he hasn't been super consistent this year, I know the talent and upside is definitely there. And then I got Martin Jones there at $7,500. I know the Wild are favored here tonight, but the Kraken are playing some really good hockey right now on a five-game winning streak. Jones is on a four-game winning streak himself where he's been fantastic in his last four games with a 1.00 goals allowed average and a save percentage of .969 unsustainable numbers for sure, but that shows you how well he's playing right now, hitting 19 plus DraftKings points in each one of those games. At $7,500, that's a pretty decent price tag too. And as always, going to wrap up the spreadsheet here with three low priced options or sub 4k forward plays. First guy I got there is Jason Zucker of the Pittsburgh Penguins, currently playing on that second line in number two power play. He now has three goals, six assists, nine points through 11 games. And just like I talked about the other day, he's shown some really solid chemistry on that second line with Evgeny Malkin and those guys continue to be overlooked by that first line of Crosby, Gensel, and Rust. Look, I get it. That first line for Pittsburgh pretty much dominates the puck possession when they're on the ice, but that second line has not been bad at all this year, so if you want to pivot off of that first line, I could go with Malkin and Zucker for sure. Mix in Ricard Raquel, who's actually leading this team in expected goals this year, also in shot attempts, so yeah, that second line for Pittsburgh, don't mind it, but I did like the price here for Zucker at $3,900. Next is Kevin LeBanc there, pretty much an opportunity play with him playing on that first line with Timo Meyer and Hurdle and playing on that number one power play. He's coming off back-to-back -back big games as well with one goal, three assists, nine shots on net, where he hits 16 in 27 DraftKings points. So at $3,600, I don't mind that, even though it is a tougher matchup on the road against the Dallas Stars. And then Jared McCann there, like I said, I just like Seattle in general here tonight. McCann is coming back from injury, but he did practice yesterday on that third line and was actually up on the number one power play. I don't know why I put number two power play. He's got five goals, three assists, eight points through 11 games, and has hit 19 plus DraftKings points in three of those games, showing some really nice upside and a nice ceiling for a guy priced this low. And then to wrap up this video here, want to talk a little prize picks with you guys. Got back on track last night, going 4-1 and one with our picks. Felt really good about that, and especially considering that Jack Hughes finished the game with three shots on net, and then NHL went back and stat corrected it, giving him another shot on net to get him to four. You rarely see that. Usually they're taking shots away from guys. And I was a little bummed out. I go, man, we only go three for two. Oh, wait, Jack Hughes, stat correction? Hit that, go four for one, had ourselves a really good night. So happy about that. Now, as I record here this morning, they don't have the full set of picks out, but I do have two that are sticking out to me. Ricard Raquel over two and a half and Nikita Kucherov over three and a half. Again, just like we've done all year long, I'm going to wait for the rest of these picks to come out. I'll do my research and then let you know my final picks in a comment below on this video, and I'll be sure to pin that comment as well. And again, I am posting all of my picks in my Discord channel too. If you want to join that, link in the description below. And for those of you who have not signed up for prize picks yet, but want to get in on this action, I got a promo code that you should definitely be taking advantage of. When you're signing up, use my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F, -F, and prize picks will give you all the way up to a $100 match deposit. Now again, you don't have to put 100 bucks in. You want to put in 50, they'll match 50. You want to put in 20, they'll match 20. They will match anything, anything up to $100. Again, as long as you're using my promo code GRIFF, 
G-R-I-F-F, upon signing up. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks. Let's win some money on this four-game slate. In the meantime, I'm out of here.